uh, we're going to uh, explore uh, one of the hidden gems of Portugal, the island of Maideira. Uh, I'm joined uh, by our friend and partner, Elizabeth Gama uh, from Reed's Palace, a Belmont hotel. Uh, Elizabeth, thanks for joining us. Uh, you know, one of the things uh, that we love about Portugal is the weather and your island is, uh, is known as uh, the island of eternal spring. Can you tell us a little bit of why, uh, why people think that or why it's a land of eternal spring? Hello, Juan. Hello, everybody. And thank you very much for having me. Uh, it, it's a good question. Uh, I know that Madeira, and it's true, Madeira is known as the island of eternal spring, basically because of our very blessed weather. So uh, just to understand a bit better our, our location, we are based at the same latitude of San Diego as the United States. So this already makes you understand that we have a very mild weather all year round. So our winters are an average of 65 Fahrenheit up to 80 Fahrenheit in summer. So not very hot, not very cold. It's a perfect all year round destination, especially if you're coming into Europe like in January and you want to sit by the pools and you want to be outside. Well, you know, that kind of just brings us exactly as we look at this panoramic view of uh, Reed's Palace. Uh, you know, our clients who have been there, uh, two things it reminds of them. It reminds them a little bit about the Amalfi Coast because of all the cliffs and the, and the sea. Uh, and the other thing, it reminds them a little bit about Hawaii. But let's go over those outdoor spaces that you talk about because people just love sitting outside uh, at your hotel. Exactly. So basically, uh, as, you, as I tell you, with this very nice best weather, so you can be basically sitting by the pool. We have two heated pools all year round, one of seawater. The smaller one that you can see here on the picture is of fresh water and they are heated. They are nice for a, for a swim in January or August. We do also have here a swimming pool located by the ocean. If you are not feeling comfortable to swim directly in the ocean because Madeira is volcanic, so we are basically our swimming swimming pools and our beaches are made of pebbles and black sand. So normally we build like these Lidos with the swimming pools, natural swimming pools that you can then swim in there or then just go and take the stairs and swim down in the ocean. This swimming pool is also available all year round, but of course not heated. In talking about being outdoor, one of the spaces that we start our day is the pool restaurant where we serve our breakfast with these wonderful views over the swimming pool and over the ocean, which is a very nice moment to slow down and start your day. And I, and I think that's one of the one, the one, the one thing that, um, you know, going back a little bit about the ocean and the pools, um, you know, that, that little that pool that you have there is oceanside. Uh, and it's that same feeling of being, uh, you know, on the cliffside in the Amalfi Coast where you can just either sit by the pool and then jump into the ocean or into, into the pool, which is just a beautiful combination. Um, one of the, like I mentioned before, I think a lot of the feedback we get from clients is that it really reminds them a little bit about all of the activities that they can do uh, in Hawaii. I'm sorry, I forgot we're going to talk about the rooms first. It's all classic. Uh, it's a classical European feel. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, the, the, the history of the hotel and some of the rooms? Yes, of course, Juan. So um, our hotel, like all Belmont properties, we are historical, we are a hotel with personality. We exist for 130 years. So our hotel was built in 1891 and it was one of the first hotels to exist in Portugal. Since then, we have been welcoming all our guests, all celebrities. Everyone has been staying here for a long period or shorter one. All our rooms, they are facing the ocean, which is a great advantage. It's like you can always, like the entry level rooms will be with the side sea view up to the full sea view. So no rooms to the mountains or to the streets, all to the seaside, all with private balconies overlooking the gardens and, and the ocean. In, and in all these rooms, um, famous people like Sir Winston Churchill, Empress Sissi of Austria, Roger Moore, Sir Peter O'Toole, all these people were passing by here, staying with us and relaxing for a little bit. Other other location that is very iconic uh, of the hotel and is in within the history of the hotel is our tea terrace. We've been serving tea for more than 100 years, so I always say this gives a little bit of experience. And this is like the most famous service that we have at our hotel. 80% of the people, more or less, that visit us, they are not even staying with us, but they come just to experience this terrace 
uh, and this view and the afternoon tea service that we do so for many, many, many years. And, and I think so going through, I mean, this is the, the out, this is like you said, eternal spring. If somebody's active, I mean, this is a place to go. Uh, tell us a little bit about some of the activities outside of the hotel and in the island that people can experience. So basically, anything you want to do, you can do it here. So you just name it. Anything you want to do in the water, in air, on air, or even in um, the middle of our forest, everything is possible. One thing that is very important to remind is that 20% of our island is, is forest, is protected by UNESCO as the World Natural Heritage. And also that the flowers and the plants, everything that you see here, they are unique in the world because they come since the glacier era many, many million years ago when Europe was fully covered of snow, but there wasn't. So we keep the flowers, we keep the plants and the birds and everything from the time. So it's a really unique place to be to do trekkings. We have more than 2,000 miles of trekkings in the mountains. It's quite safe. Uh, it's re very nice to go in couples, in families. We are also a volcanic island. It's important, as I mentioned, we don't have those beautiful yellow sandy beaches, but we do have beautiful black sandy beaches or this kind of natural swimming pools on the rocks which are very nice to have a swim around the year, around the coast, you can visit them. And anything you can imagine, as I told you, it's possible. We do also offer here at Belmont exclusive experiences that only our guests can do. I would just like, for example, explain this one just for you to have an idea of what these experiences are. This one is called Miracle of Fajandus Padres. So we take our guests to this little piece of land that fell from a mountain many years ago, and they go down on a funicular all the way down. And this piece of land is privately owned, um, but we do have the contact of the owners. So once you get there, you are able to visit, for example, the wine cellars that the, the owners have there, the wine cellars of the Madeira wine that they produce. And I don't know if you know, but there is a really big link history link uh, and bond between Madeira wine and America and the United States because Madeira wine was Thomas Jefferson's favorite drink. And when he signed the Declarence of Independence of the United States, he was celebrating with Madeira wine. And then George Washington continued with this tradition. And since today, the official events of the White House are celebrated with Madeira wine. So you see there's a big bond here, yes. which makes very interesting to come and to visit this place and to see how the Madeira wine is produced. And for the younger ones, there's also quite a uh, number of activities that can be done. We are very active, very dynamic. So if they want to swim in the dolphins, do snorkeling, do jeep tours, paragliding, mountain bikes, so you name it, everything is possible to do here at our island. And I think that's one of the things, and you know, here you are, you're active all day, uh, and you have this beautiful spa that that that, that adults can come back and, and relax. Can you tell us a bit about, about the spa? This is one of the beautiful rooms that you have, and some of maybe some of the amenities uh, that that somebody can take advantage of. Yes, of course. So um, while the younger ones are maybe doing a mountain bike in the middle of the mountains, the parents can for sure endure the spa. We have five treatment rooms. They all have these wonderful terraces that you can see here on this picture. These are They are really located by the ocean. So after or before a massage, you can just come down to one of these terraces relax, enjoy the waves, hear the waves, which is very relaxing for the moment. And also if you want to be just by the gardens, if you want to do a Pilates lesson, yoga lesson, or anything that you want to do inside your hotel, it's four acres of property. So there's plenty of space for, for everyone and for everybody to do any type of activity. And I think what, one of the things that's great about Madeira is that it's actually very, you know, what's great is you can combine it with different experiences in Europe. Um, I believe that there's direct flights uh, from London typically and from Lisbon. Yes, yes, it's true. So whenever you are in Europe, it gets very easy to get to Madeira. So I always say that Madeira is a perfect place for you to make uh, like an add-on to any other European destination. I always say that Madeira is the vacation from the vacation. So whenever you go to one of the main European destinations, then you just take a direct flight, a non-stop flight to Madeira. So, and you do have like, 
non-stop flights from Lisbon, of course, is the capital of Portugal. So you have more or less 10 flights a day. It takes just one hour and 20 minutes. So very easy to get here. You also have from Porto, like three to four flights a day. And mm -hmm. London, it is one of the major hubs, for example. You have also daily flights, three to four daily flights flying from London and Germany and Amsterdam and uh, so France as well, Paris. So basically when you are on this side, you can always fly into the zero. And I think that's what's great. I mean, all of a sudden you go and have a, a great city experience, whether it's Lisbon, London, Paris, and then all of a sudden you end up in the middle of the summer or in the spring in this beautiful okay. island where you can do something completely different uh, and really enjoy the outdoors. And you can do this, like you said, year round. So it's really a great, great destination. Well, uh, you know, Elizabeth, we really appreciate all your time and uh, walking us through uh, you know, the, the beautiful island and the beautiful hotel. Uh, and we always appreciate all that you guys do for our clients uh, when they arrive. They, they are always very well taken care of. So we really appreciate it. More than welcome. Our pleasure. We do are looking forward to welcome all of you back soon. Yeah. And it's a great pleasure to be here today. So see you soon. And I'm really looking forward to welcome all your clients here at our wonderful paradise that is Madeira Island and Ritz Palace. Thanks so much. Thanks so much. <laughs> Thank you very much, Juan. Thank you very much.